Okay, last one. Complex roots. That means that this came from the quadratic formula. First of all, let's make it look like the quadratic formula. You want it to compare to minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over top of 2a, but it don't look like that. It don't look like that. So let's work through it. 1 plus or minus 3 square root negative 1. 1 plus or minus negative 9 square root. And I need a bottom part, so it will be 1 plus or minus square root negative 9 over top of 1. Now I can compare. I'm going to compare this to this. So this one's worth 7 marks. You actually have to do some work to it before you can compare it. Okay, so 2a equals 1, a equals 1 half. Minus b equals 1, b equals negative 1. b squared minus 4ac equals negative 9. Negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 half times c equals negative 9. 1 minus 2c equals negative 9. Negative 2c equals negative 10. c equals 5. So 1 for converting, 1 for a, 1 for b, 1 for c. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the family Family is y equals d. Now, do you understand why you need the d? Okay, because that's important. And it's going to be ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, in this case, y is going to be d. a was 1 half. b was negative 1. And c was 5. Yeah? How do you have like a red? Actually, I mean, it's not. Anyway, okay, so why did they change the A to a D? Because, like, all of a sudden, they said they wanted. Do you see this A here? Yeah. If I oh, used yeah. an A here, wouldn't that be confusing? Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Unless you want to call it A sub 1, A sub 2. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Enter quietly, guys. We're taping. Maria? So why is it lowercase? Can it be any other letter? It could be. Yeah. It actually could be. And different textbooks? We'll use different letters. Okay. They all mean D in this one. Okay, so how do we get the specific curve? What do I do now? Put in the 0 and 1. So you have 0, 1. It's going to go in for y and x. So you're going to get 1 equals D. 0 for x is great because that's 0, that's 0, so it's 5. So D equals 1 over 5. I've run out of room again. Thank goodness for more paper. Moving it up. So, up, oh, over, back. There we go. So putting it all together, I'm going to have Y equals 1 fifth, bracket, 1 half X squared minus X plus 5. Take the 1 fifth in, it'll be 1 over 10, x squared, minus 1 over 5, x plus 1. And that would be your final answer. And no, you can't clear the fractions. You cannot clear the fractions, because if you multiplied each and every term by 10, think of what you'll get. You get 10y. Okay, so you can't clear the fractions on this one. It's not an equation equal to zero. All right, we're done.